Why did this trip happen and why did those investments happen to begin with? Well, the investments began maybe close to four years ago and I was uh, looking at company after company as I do every day and uh, I just thought these were big companies. They were companies that I generally understood what they did. Some was similar to Berkshire and that they owned lots of different interests. And they were selling at what I thought was a ridiculous price, uh, particularly the price compared to the interest rates prevailing at that time. And, and uh, so I started buying all five of the, uh, the five largest trading uh, uh, companies. And uh, uh, by my 90th birthday, August uh, 30th of... Uh, uh, 2000, whatever it was. 20, uh, 2020. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, uh, we had bought just somewhat over 5% of each company, and we were buying identical amounts. So we announced at that time that we bought this 5% interest in each of the five. I wrote a letter to the CEOs of each of the companies saying the same thing, that, that, that uh, we would never buy, Berkshire would never buy uh, more than 9.9% uh, without their consent. That, uh, uh, and that was my word. It was Berkshire Hathaway's word. And, and uh, uh, they all welcomed us in. And their results have exceeded our expectations uh, since we purchased the group. I think, I think their dividends on average have gone up 70% or something like that. And, and we now own 7.4% of each of the companies, and uh, I just, uh, Greg and I together, we, we wanted to come over and, and, and uh, talk to them, and uh, so we got on a NetJets plane and <laughs> plug, and, uh, and flew over, and we have had a terrific time meeting each of the five sequentially uh, over the last two days, and it's been fascinating. And we feel even better about what, what we couldn't feel better about the investment. And, and over that time, we've sold periodically yen denominated bonds. So more or less, not, we don't do it precisely, but we've insulated ourselves from, from exchange rate changes. So it's worked out very well so far. But We'll be in these stocks 10, 20 years. I mean, we, 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 we weren't buying with the idea they go next week, next month, next year. But we have had revelations about the, each of the companies that, uh, uh, well, Greg and I are just fascinated by it. Right? Was it worth the trip? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it's been a great trip. I mean, like Warren, I mean, they've been exceptional in how they've communicated, both with their performance, but just their approach to business. What did you learn? since you've been here? I think the, the thing that stands out very quickly to us is they came to the meetings wanting to build a relationship and strengthen it. So they understand we've invested in their companies, but from the very get-go when we start the conversations with them, they come each with their own story and it's around building trust in that relationship with them. Meaning what, that there are other potential deals that you all could do together? We've clearly made it uh, each time we've met with them. We said we very much like the core investment, but to the extent they can identify an incremental opportunity that we could do with any of the five companies, we would uh, very much evaluate it quickly. And Warren highlighted the bigger, the better, <laughs> and that uh, he'll answer the phone on the first ring. And we'll never run out of money. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, they can call us any time. And... Uh, it may be that what they have interests us, it may not, but they will, they'll have an answer, you know, bingo. And uh, if we make a deal, the money will be on the way and, and we look forward to it. And, and uh, I'm just astounded at how they really, they're all different and they're all the same at the same time. I mean, we learned about five different individual companies, but we, it, it was not what, exactly what we expected. It was better than we expected yeah. in every respect. People look at this and say, okay, uh, Warren Buffett is putting his stamp of approval on investing in, in Japan. 
basically. Is that an accurate read? Well, it was, yeah, it was an accurate read, but it was an accurate read a, a couple of years ago, too. I mean, it, 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 I was confounded by the fact that we could buy into these companies and, in effect, have an earnings yield of maybe 14% or something like that with dividends that would grow. They actually grew 70% during that time. And, uh, and the people were investing their money at a quarter of a percent or nothing. And, uh, and that quarter percent, if they put it out for many years, wasn't going to grow, and the 14 percent was more likely to grow than not. And uh, if that didn't look like something sensible to me, I, I, you know, I, that's as easy as it gets. But it's turned out to be better than I thought it would be.